Hey guys, in this video I will teach you how to design Rubik's Cube. Um, it will look something like this. If you have not seen any of my previous videos on how to design on SOLIDWORKS, please watch them. It will be pretty helpful and handy while working on this design. But I'll go ahead and get started. So first thing what you want to do is um, if you're new to SOLIDWORKS what you want to do is you want to start a new template it'll look something like this you want to go to file new and click on tutorial and click on part and you'll have a <clears throat> empty template like this and what you want to do is um, turn on your datum planes like that um, if you press F it will fit um, your model right at the center of the screen. Now what you want to do is first thing is to change the units to um, inches and work from there. So I'll, I'll, I'll begin working on the right plane and we'll go from there. So click on the right plane, click on sketch and it'll look normal too. Now you can hide your datum planes if you want to. Click on the I button up here, hide it. And so the first thing you want to do is up here, click on the down arrow and click on the center, center rectangle and just go ahead and snap it to the center and drag it out. And I'm going to give it a dimension to this block here. So what I'll do is go to smart dimension, click on the first line and I'm going to give that 0.75 inches there and what I'll do is make a square out of this I'll do click on that line and hold down control and click on this line and it will we can make that equal to so everything turns black so it's defined um, or you can if, if it's not like that you can add another dimension so I'll just do control undo that really quick or uh, you can add another dimension like that here click on it and what you can do is um, click on equal sign and click on this dimension also so they both are now this dimension dimension is driven off of that dimension so if you change that dimension to let's say one inch and that will be one inch also but let's keep that at 0.75 there and that's another trick if you if you are new to SOLIDWORKS um, but let's go ahead and extrude this um, so I'll extrude this I'll go to features click on extrude there and go to up here in direction one click on mid plane I mean down click and click on mid plane and put give that a 0.75 right there so this is a block that I'll use and I'll use patterns to make my Rubik's Cube. So now I'm going <clears> to <throat> give it a little bit details to this. I'll add um, round the fillet features on the corners so it's not sharp like that. So go to fillet up here and go ahead and give it a dimension of about 0.03 inches. There now you can go and click on its edges or you can just click on the faces of uh, the cube here. So just click on that and go around and click on all the faces. And click on the bottom one. And once you're done, press OK. So you have a um, nice um, fillet around the edges. So press space bar and you can make it um, isometric right there now what I'll do is I'll use this block and I'll use the linear pattern feature and I'll pattern this this block to the right and to the left and and from to the top and the bottom but I'll have to do each step at a time there so okay go ahead and click on the linear pattern and Turn on your datum planes as well, so it'll be easier to work with. So the first thing what I want to do is um, I want to pattern this guy on the right and the left side using the right datum plane. So on the direction one, click on the right datum plane and give that on dimension, give that 0.75 there and 
down here on the bodies now we're trying to mirror bodies right you can um, so we're not trying to mirror individual features we're trying to middle the whole block here or, or mirror the whole block yep so click on the bodies and click on that block there right so the first dimension is is pointing um, on direction one is pointing this way now I'm gonna on the direction two I want this block the same dimensions on the other side so on direction two click on direction two click on the right plane again um, and the flip the dimension there give it 0.75 there and click on the pattern seed only also there and let's see what that does press ok there you go you got three blocks now what I want to do is I'm going to take this three block and mirror it on the front and the back using the front plane so now if you go to your solid bodies folder now you should have a three blocks here these are independent these are not merged right um, so I'm working in the part file <clears throat> to make this but what I could have done is just create that one block and make it assembly go to the assembly and I could do it do an assembly and make it out of that way as well but for this purpose I'll just do it in here in the part file using a solid bodies um, so next what I'll do is I'll just click on these three just hold down um, my control and just click on these three bodies or you don't have to right yet just click on your linear pattern one more time um, do the same thing right so all your dimensions should be carried over from your first time you put it so now all you have to do is click on the front front plane for direction one and go to bodies and just click on these three bodies right three dimensions should be there and on direction two click on the front and just reverse it to the other side something like that and press ok once you're done and make sure um, yep pattern seed only is on on direction two click on that and press ok there you go now i'm gonna what i'll do is mirror the these blocks um off of the top plane right there so you notice i'm having creating more um independent solid bodies here so click on your linear pattern again and for direction one click on the top plane and go to bodies down here click on the bodies and click on all the blocks and you want to do it one more time on direction two use the same plane but reverse the direction and click on that and press ok and there you go i think i have the um the rubik's cube pretty much ready here so i'm going to hide the datum planes so next what you want to do is um just uh, give it a colors of of the rubik's cube but yeah let's go ahead and get started with the colors so what you can do is so hold down control and just click on each of these faces and click on it one more time and go to go to this tab here down arrow and click on the face and give that a uh, green oh what i forgot to do is uh give the colors to the the radius here but i could do that this fillet here before the pattern what i can do is click on that carrot and click on that fillet itself and give it a color there um click on the fillet and give it like a bar dark color and uh, 
okay that didn't work but i guess before i did the so if you did that before you did your patterns it should it should have definitely worked there um But that's okay for now, but I think you get the idea. But yeah, let's go ahead and finish this. Um, fill it. Let's click on that surface, that surface, and then the top surface, and give it a red. Right, but if you want to go and add, give it a colors to these radius, I know it'll take a while to go through um, and select all these, but you get the idea, right? Um, you could do it either from here or you could do it before you did the patterns and do it to that block and define the colors. So these just go to face and just give it a black something like that yep you could do it from here or you could like i said you could do it before you did the pattern i think that's a little easier to do and on this side click on all of the faces again hold on control click on the face there and give that a color also. And on this side, you can give it a blue. So click on that face, hold on control, and click on its faces and give that a nice blue color so if you're to press your space bar and just go to isometric um, but yeah that's a, that's pretty much it guys but uh, if you want to finish it off add more colors to the radiuses please do that i think you'll have a really nice looking rubik here so but yeah, thank you guys. Hopefully you find this video helpful and thank you. Bye.